We came out today. I got my guide Ryder Pennings with me. How you doing, Ryder? <laughs> I'm doing good. You know what's going on? We've been on a few lakes today. What do you think it is? We're having a difficult time pulling in some fish. We're marking a few on this lake. But what do you think the key is today to try to get these fish to uh, go ahead and bite? I guess just keep drinking for them. You keep drinking for them, man. You can't get better advice than that. <laughs> All right. Well, I mean, are we, are we going to stay on this lake or are we going to try a different one, you think? I, I think we're going to try a different one here. It, it, try a different one? Yeah. All right. Well, pound it, buddy. It's been nice fishing with you. <laughs> searching for some new lakes and we had this is our fourth lake third lake third lake I think and uh, we've just been having a bummer of a day uh, down in the weeds here in about nine feet of water we managed to pull up a real nice uh, he's just shy of ten he's nine and three quarter inch gill uh, on the BY Bates water bug on the brand new PC fun reels the ICX fives this thing was amazing handled the fish great it was a lot of fun I know this guy can catch one. <laughs> All right. Well, I mean, you got one on video. Not quite as good as the birthday crappies. <laughs> so Ryan, what do you think the problem is today? How come you can't find fish? Um, I think it's because there's not a freaking cloud up there at all. Yeah, that's a very good indication. Yeah, but you know, me and Jason oh. caught fish when there was no cloud. Yeah, I've caught fish. <laughs> They're just this big. <laughs> See my beautiful eyes. There you go. There you go. Uh, yesterday we had gone. At me and me and three other guys and one guy's uh, kid, uh, Ryder, good kid, good fisherman. We had actually gone out in, in search of uh, lakes to go ahead and explore. We had a really flipping rough day yesterday. With we're assuming maybe it was the weather. Let me roll this window up. Whoop. We're assuming maybe it was a weather pattern. Um, um, it just, it seems like when we went on to social media later on that day, it just seems like everybody kind of had a little bit of the same situation. So I'm not ready to quite cross off a lot of those lakes yet. We did catch a very nice gill. No, that, that kind of made my day. But it's really not enough footage that I put together where, where you know, I got some of the, my new drone, I got some of that footage. Uh, it's really not enough footage to put together for a video that I would want to see. So I am going out again today with the goal in mind to, to catch a northern pike on a uh, rod and reel using a dangler tip down system. Um, I did want to get some underwater footage. I'm not quite there ready yet. I have to build like a pole system that I can use. Uh, that'll take a little bit more um, ingenuity, time. This is just something I haven't had to give a lot of lately but i will and hopefully catch a northern pike i got i'm only going out for maybe about three hours so hopefully in that three hour window we'll be able to get one 
on that. And I want to be jigging up some gills during the, the time being while I'm waiting for that thing to go off. Uh, hopefully, hopefully we get something. So stay tuned and it might be awesome. And it might not. And you might have just wasted your time watching this. as expected in Langlade County, Wisconsin. It's kind of a popular, uh, it's a lo popular local lake. And you know, a few out of towners come here and you can actually, you can actually have a fun day fishing with your kids for Northern Pike. Typically you don't catch large Northern Pike out of here, uh, but it's a fun place to go ahead and get your tip ups in or your tip downs. I'm gonna try doing a tip down for, uh, for Northern Pike today. But it's a, it's a great place to go ahead and bring your kids for a fun day of catching some, you know, nice eater northern and and uh, eater uh, bluegills. We're gonna go out there, we're gonna try to set the tip up up, or tip down. We're gonna go out there, we're gonna try to set the tip down for a northern pike or two, and hopefully capture some of that on film, as well as, uh, as you know, while we're waiting, we're gonna, of course, do some bluegill fishing. There are crappies in here, not a lot, if you can find them, it's a good day. It should be a fun time and see quite a few people out here. So I couldn't even get it like set here. Here's the idea. I have this little trip flag on here. My spool is open. So whenever I get a bite, it will go ahead, instead of just being a tip drop, I have this Velcro doodad that just attaches to here. Uh, this flag here, which is clipped into the line, once that line is pulled out, this flag will tip up and uh, hopefully uh, signal that a fish is on. There we go, we finally got hooked up on one. You can hear that drag on that icy. Hey, we actually have a crappie, which is few and far between here on this body of water. Oh man. All right, so I don't think I have a lot of time here. I just came to mess with my, uh, my pike setup here. It looks like that I might have a pike messing with me here. So, we wait. So there is my sinker. That is my minnow. And that is a big fish sitting right underneath me here. So I'm actually just going to move this a bit. See if I can't maybe entice him. That's a good big mark. Definitely a pike or a bass. Let's see if it hits. Spool is open, so all he's got to do is just pull it enough to get it in his mouth. It'll come out of this clasp that I have on the line. I'm using 10 pound braid with a 20 pound floral carbon leader. Come on. If he sets, if he starts eating on that thing, I think we're going to, there he is. He's, he's coming on it here. He's eating it. Gonna catch a pike. Oh, boy, I hope. Here you go, man. Here it goes. Now he's got all the line in the world. So let me go ahead and. Oh, he's not taking it. He's not taking it. Here he goes. He's running with it. He's moving with it. Let's set that hook. We don't want it too deep. Oh, I lost them. <laughs> uh, 
camera wasn't set up quite right anyways. And you can see that my middle is still on there. I'm gonna reset this guy up again. Point is an elephant. It was, it was an epic fail. I had like four opportunities to hook up on uh, a Northern Pike, my goal, and uh, each time I ripped it right out of its mouth. So I just, maybe I just didn't give them enough time. Maybe it was such a fickle bite where they were just really just kind of sucking on it and not really inhaling it. I am not sure, but it's pretty dark out, so I apologize. Um, you know the guys it's uh you know that's the way it goes sometimes we got some we did land some cool fish yesterday and uh you know a little bit of cool footage so we'll put together a video and hopefully everybody enjoys it until then thank you guys for following uh remember to please like and subscribe uh we'll, we'll keep on trying we'll, we'll we'll keep on trying to put some good content up there and, and things that you guys want to see uh put it down in the comments section what are some things that you would like to see ice fishing related, whether it's catching certain fish or um, or some tips and tricks and how to's. I am not a pro, but I can sure pretend to be like one on YouTube. So thank you guys, tight lines. Point is an elephant.